Okay, you know what? Let's just cut right to the chase here, guys. A lot of you guys right now that are watching want to know how you can get this. What's this, you ask? Bro, I was like, start the video off with some energy. <laughs> On my Instagram story, I think it was three days ago, I randomly got two packages in the mail. Opened them up, and there were two bags. Two cloth bags to say make a coin. Well, one of them is now empty. I'm gonna explain why. That Instagram story got four times the amount of views for some reason. First off, I want this to be known. This is not at all sponsored by McDonald's whatsoever. However, when I get packages that are super great, I'm gonna talk about it. So I open it up. And there's all these gold coins. They're like legit gold coins, okay? They're hard like metal. Well, it just so happened an hour later, I had like a party at my house. I had a couple drinks and I gave away an entire bag. <laughs> when I'm drinking, I'm very generous because the next morning I opened my fridge, half of my beer was gone, an entire bag of my free Big Macs were gone, and I had a bottle that was completely gone. So. That party was essentially sponsored by me. Each one of these is worth one Big Mac. Now, when that story went out, so many of you guys were DMing me saying, Dan, how can I get one? Can you please send me one? So I decided I'm gonna do a giveaway. I couldn't eat two bags worth. I already gave an entire bag out to my friends, man. I called them the next day, I'm like, yo, how many Big Macs did I give you? They're like, yo, you were handing them out like crazy. I got 10. And I'm like, man, why did you take advantage of me? So this is all I have left, unfortunately. If there's people that I'm willing to share more than anybody else, it's you guys. You guys are the ones that support me, that watch my stuff, that at least think I'm a little bit funny. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with five. I just, I basically just gave McDonald's a free shout out. There's two ways you can enter. I'm currently nominated for an iHeartRadio MMVA. I obviously want to win. The only way I can win is from you guys voting for me. And the way you guys can vote is there's a link in the description down below. Click that. It'll bring you to a website. Vote for me there. You can do it once an hour. Send me a picture of you doing that. Or if you use the hashtag FFCreatorDanocracy, I know it's long, you can do unlimited votes. I'm going to pick five of you guys. I will announce them on Twitter who I'm sending them to. Back to the video. What's up everybody? So today's video is it is a how-to, which is great because I know you guys love those but it's like a science experiment as well today I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> I can't even say it. get ready <laughs> today I'm gonna show you guys how to extract DNA from a strawberry <laughs> unless you want to clone a strawberry I don't know I, I legit don't know why the f you'd want to do this it's cool though today I'm gonna show you guys how to extract DNA from a strawberry here's what you need first things first you're gonna need strawberries you're gonna need some rubbing alcohol you're gonna need a glass a clear glass you're gonna need a ziploc bag guys I actually did it I finally bought measuring spoons you're also gonna need some dish soap you're gonna need an elastic and last but not least paper towel all right let's do this never done this before I hope we get some DNA step number one you're gonna take the rubbing alcohol and you're gonna want to toss it in the freezer apparently for 30 minutes you can get away with like 15 it has to be cold Bye, see you in 30. Step number two, you're gonna take your Ziploc bag and you're gonna take one strawberry from the pack. Take off the little green head. And you're gonna pop it in the Ziploc bag. Make sure it's closed or you will have a mess in your hands. Next, we're gonna mash it up. So just really squish it. Turn it into like a paste. You wanna get all the liquid out of the strawberry as you possibly can, so really mash it. So I think we did a good job there. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of water to this glass. No, nope, sorry, I already messed that up. It's teaspoons, guys, sorry. Let's dump that. It's so small, man. How am I gonna get the water in here? The water fly. Okay. One, two. Two teaspoons, not tablespoons. Okay, next we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of dish soap to the water in the cup. Apparently, this is what separates the DNA from the strawberry. Okay, I'm so sorry, I, uh, I forgot an ingredient. You guys also need salt. That's a quarter tablespoon, by the way. Next, we're gonna stir the mixture. We are gonna now take this mixture and add it to our strawberry mashed bag. Close it back up. And now mash it back up again. You wanna get that mixture really mixed in with the strawberry so it has time to communicate with the DNA. We have enough liquid here so we can now go to the next step. So now that we have our mixture all here, you're gonna take your glass again, take a piece of paper towel, put it over top of the glass and take your rubber band and put it around. So you've created sort of like a little filter. You wanna create a little dip so it holds the liquid. 
And then you're gonna take everything out of here, pour it through this like makeshift filter we've created. We're now gonna leave that and let it all collect at the bottom and then we're gonna go to the next step. Next we're gonna take our rubbing alcohol out of the freezer. We're gonna get rid of this. Looks like there was a lot more in there. Now the way we have it right now is apparently this contains the strawberry's DNA. In order to extract it, we're gonna add one full cup of rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna pour it in right now. Apparently it only takes like three minutes to see the DNA actually start to rise up. But you have to keep your eyes peeled. Yo, that's a, oh my God, that's a lot of DNA. Guys, look at it all. Oh my God, yo, we got so many. That's way more than I saw. What? Yo, it's like a little coral reef. As random as this might've been, this might've been the best outcome. Look at that. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, what happened? It just made a DNA iceberg, guys. Look at that. Oh my god, there's DNA still rising. I gotta get a new lens. If you look close, you can actually see like the DNA rising. Wow. It's all like gummy. There it is. That right there is the strawberry's DNA. Look at that. Okay, welcome back, guys. This experiment was not only was, oh my God, look at it now. Whoa, we almost got rid of all of the red now. This experiment was incredibly fun to do. It was super quick, but now I wanna get down to what actually is happening here in like a fun way. A detergent will cause the cell to pop open so that DNA is released into the solution, which is exactly what we just did. Now the reason why they use strawberries for this experiment is apparently strawberries have eight copies of the genome, giving them a lot of DNA per cell. Most organisms only have one copy of a cell. Strawberries have eight. A single strand of DNA is extremely tiny. Too tiny to see with the naked eye. But because the DNA clumped in this activity, you were able to see just how much average DNA you cannot see with the human eye. But the reason why we use the strawberries is because they have eight copies of this genome cell. By clumping eight of them, it actually made it visible to the human eye. We extracted DNA from a straw. I'm putting that on my resume. Anyways, so you guys have it. It was super easy. If you guys want to try this, it is really, really cool to do. Trust me. Guys, remember, if you guys want to get one of these coins as a giveaway, use the hashtag FFCreatorDanocracy or just go ahead and vote on the link down below. If you guys want to see Charlie's birthday party, it's currently on my Instagram at Danocracy as one of the highlighted moments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.